In addition, here we need to introduce another very important reserved word in SQL. It's called foreign key. Foreign key is very important. Let me clarify what is a foreign key. So foreign key denotes a field or attribute whose value are the keys in some other relations. For example, if we are creating a sales table then for the beers, we have to refer to the beers table as well as the bar table, right? You know the bar says some beers at some price. And we are borrowing this attribute beer as well as bar name from the bar table and the beer table, right? So these two attributes are actually the keys in the bar's table as well as the, the, the beer's table. If so, then we have to declare these two attributes as the foreign keys. So here let me provide more information. So we can declare an attribute as a foreign key if this attribute is a primary key of another relation. So this a foreign key can declare this attribute is a reference. It is not a pointer pointing to some other relations or some other tables. And let me provide you with a more specific uh, example. Let's assume we have two uh, tables. The first table we have is uh, for students, right? We have a student's table. Inside the student, we have a bunch of attributes. We have a student ID, right? As well as name, the login address or email address, age, and GPA. And we insert this table into some data tables. There are uh, uh, three students, Jones, Smith, and Smith, right? They have different IDs, different names, login email address, GPA and age. Right? Besides this student's uh, table, we will create one more table denoting the student enrolled in some courses. Therefore, we can create a new table for the enrolled. Right? We can declare this table as something like this. We create a table enrolled. Inside this table, we have a bunch of attributes. We have a student ID denoting a student enrolled into some courses. Right? We have student ID is chart 20. We have a course ID, it's the chart 20. We have grade, denoting the student get a grade for the course, right? It's chart 2. We'll create a table like this, right? And we know the key for the table will be SID combined with SCID, right? Denoting the student enroll into some courses. So we can declare this SID and CID that together can be a primary key for the table, right? Okay, then let's come back to the enroll table. So inside this enroll table, we have a first column is SID, second column is CID, third column is the grade, right? We have some example of the data. The first one is uh, ID of Jones, right? Enrolled into two courses, in this B and C. Another one is for the Smiths, right? Into another course, get A, and Jones also enrolled into the history, and gets B. So you can see for the enroll table and the first column actually is from the student ID, right? From this column. In other words, in the enroll table, we're referring to a specific student, right? By this ID, we were able to refer to the student in the student's table, right? In other words, this SID here will be a referencing key into some other tables. Then we can declare this attribute as a foreign key when we're creating this enroll table. We say this one is foreign key SID referencing reference to the student's table, right? As shown here, we declare this uh, foreign key SID references students. Foreign key and references, they are the reserved words in SQL. We have type in the SID as a specific attribute, strengths as a specific a tables from outside, right? Besides, this SID is similar for the CID. We reference to some other tables for the courses, right? Therefore, for the course, we also have to uh, add this foreign key, CID references, courses. Courses is another table we didn't show here. This courses table covers the basic information for the course, right? So in this table creation, so we declared SID, CID combined as a primary key for the enrolled table. 
We also find this SID and CID, they are very different and they are very special because they are the keys in the students table as well as the courses table. Therefore, we have to declare this uh, SID and CID as a foreign key reference to some other tables. This is the grammar we can declare some attributes as foreign keys. And you may wonder why we have to declare this. It's very important. It will help us maintain a very healthy uh, tables in our database systems. We will show more in the following pages.